Hi everyone, we are to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. This video will bless you greatly. Stay connected to it and God bless you. Discernment is a quality that can be trained. You can train your spirit to pick signals with such precision that what God is saying in a moment, that's why it looks like as you are saying it is just happening, is a level of the development of discernment. Hallelujah. Are we together now? I'm saying this because I want to pray over you today. Huh? One of the graces that I'm praying will rest on you is the power to now begin to make quality choices. Quality choices. Remember my teaching at the miracle service that rise up and walk is greater than silver and gold. You can have silver and gold, but the greater blessing is the ability to rise up and walk. To choose that my children will not beg again. To choose that my spiritual life will not go up and down again. Ah, I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. I set before you a life of pain, a life of misery, or a life of glory. I advise you, choose life. Your choice will affect your seed. Greetings, dear friends. Through the Word of God, we have come to know not only the nature and attribute of our Creator, but His magnificent plan for us. In the midst of our busy and fast-paced life, it becomes essential to nourish our souls and cultivate a vibrant spiritual life. Today, as we prepare to listen to this message that awaits you, the blessings of God are upon you. May you receive the wisdom to discern and understand beyond the spoken word. Kindly engage with us through the comment section below, sharing your thoughts and reflections. We encourage you to support our work by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated for all our next messages. In your new year, welcome to our channel. We are glad you joined us. Thanks for subscribing. May the grace of God be with you, guiding your part and illuminating your heart. Amen. I saw certain patterns growing up around my territory. I saw certain, certain patterns around people who had gone ahead of me. And I made up my mind. I said, I will fight a good fight of faith and end certain things now. Let them end in my lifetime, in my presence. If it means me being the living sacrifice, let me be it. But there are certain things that must end. That's why I said, some of you are not yet angry enough. This sermon is supposed to provoke you. If you sit down and keep watching your life like that, what happened to your mother will happen to you. I'm telling you, I'm not a prophet of doom. Gentlemen, if you sit down, you know what spirits have done with preachers in your area. If you just sit down carelessly like that, the same thing will happen to you. You must take a different approach. I will not be the man of God that will finish preaching. There once upon a time I preached and demons attacked me. Not today, not again, not forever. Let me speak to preachers for a moment. Gentlemen, ladies, let me tell you, the end time army must be an army of power. Choose to invest in carrying genuine anointing. Hear me, choose to invest in carrying genuine power. Talking grammar and stories, the world is tired of it. I assure you, mm, power to heal, power to raise men, raise them from a dunghill. Power to declare over nations and shift the spiritual climate of nations. Don't stand before Pharaoh if you don't have power. You are confronting altars that are older than you. You are confronting altars that killed those who went ahead of you. Don't just stand and speak grammar. As for me, I've chosen. You ignore the ministry of power, your life will be such a defeat, I tell you. The missing link for many people is that you have not made the choice to press. You have not made the choice to pray. You have not made the choice 
to study. Hallelujah. I don't know why I'm speaking to preachers. But let me tell you the truth. The powerlessness of the average man of God with all due respect in this nation. If we do not work on it, we will keep getting angry with ourselves, fighting ourselves out of jealousy and envy that is not necessary. One thing thou lackest, most people lack power. You don't have power and say, I have power. It is nonsense. It speaks. Hallelujah. Speaks. The power that is greater than the cause holding your family. You have not chosen to come out of it. That's why. Oh, apostle, I've been suffering from bedwetting. Who will help me now? I can tell you, my dear brother, my dear sister, you are not ready to come out of it. That is why. There is something about a human spirit when it gets angry. There is something about men when they are tired of their current situation. Yes, sir. The prodigal son got angry and said, Hey, yes. How many hired servants as my father? And I am here feeding with the swine. Do you believe what you are hearing? Choose life. I have chosen by myself that nothing is going to cut short my life before it's time. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's only when we get to heaven you will know how many shrines and how many herbalists call my name day and night. Let this man die. You are joking. We are here for a very long time. I said before you life and death. You believe what I'm saying? Don't keep quiet. Keeping quiet is a choice to remain a failure. Palando sabarika parusiata. I've seen the spirit of death. I've seen the people that the devil wanted to just take like that. Speak, listen. I learned this from Papa Copeland. Right from when this man was young, he would speak over the organs in his body. And people were laughing at him. Oh, a preacher does not carry fire and this. Many of them have died and gone. This man in his 80s is still standing. Still speaking to the parts of his body. Every part of my body God gave me must hear me. Yes, sir. You must hear me. If you are not obeying me, you are obeying someone else's instruction. I need to know who that person is. Koinonia will not go down. No, there is no going down. No, there is a covenant backed up by the jealousy of Jehovah. There is nothing Satan can do about it. I want you to get angry tonight because I want you to see the areas of darkness in your life. You are allowing the devil destroy people in your life. There are people every year somebody must die. Every year. Can I tell you? You are, you are just mechanically aware you are a priest. It has not entered you by revelation. The day the, re the revelation of your priesthood enters you, ladies and gentlemen, you will stand up with power and shake that altar and say the last person that died in this family will be the last person an end comes to it. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. They comfort me. They comfort me. Choose life. Choose life means choose health. Choose life means choose glory. Choose life means choose excellence. Choose life means choose power. The ability to produce results. Choose life means choose speed. Choose life means choose ever increasing glory. Choose life means choose greatness. Choose life means choose Jesus. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Hear me. Please hear me. Hear me. 
I sense in my spirit in the next, I wanted to run through a list about the various choices. I don't know if I will do that or not, but I just sense the spirit of prayer. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is the night that God has brought us to be angry at certain things that have been happening in our lives. You are a man of God here. Don't watch things go wrong in your ministry. You can make up your mind. You are a parent here. You are watching your child become maybe an alcoholic or something and you are saying there's nothing I cannot do. You can choose. It is the power God gave man. It is the power God gave man. It is the power God gave man. He respects that power himself. It is the power God gave man. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Please listen to me. Just listen. Listen. When I took out time to study what a, a, an apostolic and a prophetic ministry, the implication of having an apostolic and a prophetic ministry, I remember reading several books on the apostolic ministry. When I saw the spiritual demands, the kind of weight and energy you must carry in the spirit to run a genuine apostolic and prophetic ministry, I knew that I was playing games. I was joking at that level of spirituality. Now, then the relational demands, the kind of influence you must command to be able to do ministry at that level effectively. Then the financial demand is the one that will even scare you. Hallelujah. Because the pioneering anointing is part of the equipping of the apostolic ministry. You will do things that have never been done before not in the way they have been done before and doing new things carry a cost because you are setting the pace other people will model it and it will reduce the cost when others follow but pioneering is expensive hallelujah i went to god in prayer i said lord i want to do ministry with integrity this finance thing has tied people down. I don't want this thing to be, I don't want to lose sleep because of money issues. And that's when I took out time. God showed me the power of decisions that you can change your life if you are serious.